In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Coming together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Convert us, O God our Savior, and instruct our minds by heavenly teaching, that we may benefit from the works of Lent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name. Thus, Profaning the name of your God, I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind. But you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment, show neither partiality to the weak, nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart, though you may have to reprove him. Do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Let the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart find favor before you. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. 
Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the gifts of this season of Lent, and we're in the first full week of Lent now, is that we have an opportunity, as the readings help us in today's particular liturgy, to reflect on our lives and our actions. And certainly one of the things that all of us are called to do during this season is to examine our conscience and to also know what right action we can take during this season of Lent. Quick reminder, there's three elements to the season of Lent. First, fasting or abstinence. And Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting. Good Friday is a day of fasting. And abstinence would occur on the Fridays of Lent, which means not eating meat. And also, we have the other opportunity during this season of Lent, such as greater amounts of prayer in our life. And I'm sure some of you have decided to make going to Mass as frequently as possible one of the ways that you will enter more deeply into your celebration of Lent. And then lastly, we have almsgiving. And as we hear in today's gospel in particular, our Lord reminds us that each one of us has a mandate to help those who are least in our world, those who are most in need. And some of us uh, may come upon people like this from time to time in the course of our day, or maybe some of us might depend on the work of other agencies to care for those who are least in our world. And by supporting them, you're helping to support and help the poor. But ultimately, one of the things that's very clear in today's gospel is that all of us are called to be compassionate to those who are least in our world. And it's not only that we're called to do it, But as we hear in today's gospel, we will be judged by our actions. And certainly, as we listen to today's gospel, uh, it's more than clear that our very salvation depends on helping those who are least in our world. Stand. Let us bring our prayers before our Heavenly Father. Let us pray, first of all, for Francis, our Pope, who has been ill lately, and for bishops, priests, deacons, and religious. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those in our world who are poor, who do not have an opportunity for enough food to eat or access to clean drinking water or an opportunity for education. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us pray for those among us who are sick, especially family and friends, that they may experience fully the healing presence of Christ in their life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 
Let us pray for first responders and for the troops serving throughout the world, that they may return safely to their families. We pray to the Lord. Let us remember the intentions of the members of the Society of Little Flower and for uh, those who have gone before us. For them, we pray to the Lord. Let us remember our beloved dead, especially family and friends, that they may be one with Christ. We pray to the Lord. And let us now bring our own prayers and our own longings before our Father in heaven. For these we pray to the Lord. Father, we bring all our prayers before you. We ask you to hear them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's collection is to help support the beautiful shrine and the shrine museum. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May this devout oblation be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us your conciliation and pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Richard, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ, keep me safe. Everlasting life.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Enlighten the minds of your people, Lord, we pray, with the light of your glory, that they may see what must be done and have the strength to do what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us offer a prayer to Mary, our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.